All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, TJ here for your 12 p.m. Express Apps class. For today's class, you just need a mat or you can just use your floor. Um, it's all good, though. All right. So starting off, it's a continuation of the side, the side, you know, um, bridge that we did or the side plank. So starting off just in a modified position, I just want you to hold, keeping your core tight, keeping your body in line from your shoulders to your hips, all the way down either to your knee or your foot. So just keeping that belly button drawn in. Nice job. We'll start introducing movement to this, to this exercise. So let's flip it over. Let's turn to the other side, whether it's your right or your left. So again, in a modified position from shoulder, hip to either knee or foot, it would only be your feet if your feet were stacked on top of each other. But again, we'll ease into it. So keeping that body straight, using your your available hand to balance you if you need to, just try not to lean over into it. Three, two, one, nice job. All right, so now let's go into either the plank position on your elbows, or you can be pillar bridge, or you're on your hands. So either on the knees or on your feet, or just holding, all right? So keeping the body straight from shoulder hip to either knee or heel. And make sure, making sure that we are breathing. Three, two, one. All right. So now let's flip it over. So we're going to face up. You can either do this on your elbows or on your hands but we're gonna do a globo bridge, which is pretty much like a tabletop. And so we're gonna move the hip up and down, squeezing through the glutes when your hips are at the top, back down. And again, you could do this on your, your elbows. You won't travel as far through your hip, but again, squeeze through the glutes at the top. Nice job. Three, two, one. All right. So let's go back to the very beginning. So now let's stack our feet. And we're going to come up. And we're going to either move the hip up and down or you could do that in a modified position as well. So again, modified, that bottom knee is bent. Ready, go. So working the oblique, the side that's closest to the floor or that side of our core. Excellent job. Three, two, one. All right, flip it over. So again, either modify or feet stacked and doing that, that hip drop. All right, ready, go. So again, keeping your shoulders stacked on top of each other or where my left is over my right. My body is straight. There is no bend in my hip. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, nice job. So we're gonna flip it over face down. So either the plank where you're on your elbow or your pillar bridge where you're on your hands, all right? So this time we're now going to tap the shoulder. All right, ready, go. 
Now you could do this modified. And the idea is making sure that that the that your backside is not sticking straight up in the air while you are doing this, but keeping the body straight. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so now flipping it over. And we're now going to go Globo Bridge or kind of that tabletop sort of movement. So again, either on the elbows, if you have any shoulder issues, otherwise on your hands. Ready? Go. Now, if you wanted this to be a little more challenging, bring the feet together, bring the knees together as you're pressing that hip up and down, squeezing through the glutes at the top. Nice job, three, two, one. All right, so before we move on into the side, the side bridge again, let's just do a quick stretch with that child's pose, which is that fetal position where you're face down, hands are in front of you. And then we'll do one last stretch and we'll get back into it. But mini sphinx or pretty much you're on your elbows and you're kind of pressing your hip into the floor, stretching out the core or the front part of you. All right, so let's go back into that side bridge or side plank. And this time, so either modified or feet stacked, but you're going to reach underneath, hand up, reach underneath, hand up. All right, ready? Go. Great job. Keep it up. So again, this could be modified. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so let's flip it over onto the other side. Again, modified that bent knee closest to the floor, otherwise feet stacked. Now remember, you're going to reach underneath and up. Ready? Go. Nice job. Keeping that body straight, breathing. If you get too tired, you could just pause. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So we're now going to go face up. And so again, it's that globo or global uh, bridge or tabletop, working the glutes, working the low back. Ready? Go. Remember, feet together, knees together. If you want a little bit of a challenge. If you're starting to feel too much through that back of the arm, you could just bring it down to your elbow. Again, remember you won't move as far with the hip, but you can still squeeze through your glutes at the top. Again, all those kind of pillar, pillar bridge or plank positions, start feeling it through the back of your triceps. Three, two, one. 
All right, just crisscross your legs and just reach in front of you. Just stretching up the low back. Let's walk it over to the right side. Kind of stretching that left side. And now let's walk it over to the left side to stretch out the back of that right side. All right. I know you're gonna, you're not gonna like me, but this is the last and final round of this one. All right. So you've got three options. You could either just hold, you could hip drop, or you thread the needle or reach under and up. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Last time, go. You got this, come on, push. After this round, we'll go through stretches. Three, two, one. All right, flip it over. The last side bridge or side plank, whichever you know it as. So remember, either Modify feet stacked, and then remember you can hold it, you can hip drop, or thread the needle. All right, ready, go. Great job. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. I think I realized that I missed a uh, pillar bridge in there, but that's okay. All right. So, so pillar bridge or plank where you're on your elbows. All right. So. For this particular one, as an option, we're going to go down, down, up, up, all right? So you can either do that or you could just do the shoulder tap, all right? Last one, ready, go. So down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, or shoulder tap, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, keep going. Picking one of those two, or if you truly need to, you could just hold, but just keep that body straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Just child's pose really quick. And let's move it to tabletop or global, global bridge. All right, ready, three, two, one, go. Great job, keep going. I'm gonna move to my elbows after all those planks. We're pillar bridge, feeling it through the back of the arm. That or maybe it was that metabolic conditioning class this morning. Nice job. Keep going. Squeezing through the glutes or the low back. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. All right. So since we are already sitting on our backside, let's lie back wrap our knees or wrap our arms around our knees. And if you want, you could just gently rock forward and backwards. Nice job. 
All right, pause for a moment. Extend those legs, hands overhead, and just feel that stretch through your core. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Awesome. All right, so still in this position, I now want you to still keep your hands overhead, but I want you to now kind of lean or kind of shift that upper body towards your right or your left side, just feeling that stretch on the side, the opposite side of which you're reaching. All right, bring it back to center. Now bring it over to the other side. And again, just feeling that stretch through your side. Awesome job. All right, fantastic. All right, so you guys have a fantastic weekend. Uh, Monday, just so you know, is uh, metabolic or not metabolic conditioning. Uh, that was this morning. Low impact workout, uh, which is at 11 20, and then express abs at 12 o'clock. All right, have a good one.